The Premier League show goes on for the Albion with Thomas Frank's Brentford making a Boxing Day trip down from West London. The Bees sit just a couple of places above the Seagulls, both having accumulated 20 points and separated only by goal difference. A win today for Graham Potter's side would see them leapfrog today's visitors and back up into the top 10. This is the Premier League debutant tonight, Dominic Thompson. Sending it forward and has he sprung the offside track here in Burbo? Dan Byrne needs to be back to clear. And then the offside flag goes up against Inverno, a few hearts in mouths around the Amex. It's almost a, an assist to remember for Dominic Thompson. A rather hopeful ball forward. Well, it's perfectly weighted, not hopeful at all, it's a lovely dink. Now Jensen, just shaped forward for the run over on that far side. Retreating there. Is Alexis McAllister. A rather congested six yard box and just around the edge of it. This time Sorensen almost gets the flick on again. Lamptey it is who's able to nod it clear. Only as far away as Tony. Doesn't get hold of it at all and then smashed into the floor by Shandon Baptiste. Couple of decent chances and forays forward from Shandon Baptiste. Lamptey it was who was able to clear. As far away as Jensen, who's got time to look up there, just fizzes it in towards Tony, who gets it all wrong. Eventually finds its way to Shandon Baptiste on the half volley. Sanchez with a diagonal ball. Oh, it's an excellently weighted ball over to Kukurea. In the middle is McAllister sliding back. It was Trossard who was in the middle, Ethan Pinnock. McAllister on set-piece duties for the evening. And Pascal Gross's absence, Pascal Gross on the bench tonight. Moda's in there, Mwepu's in there, so too is Webster. And towards the front post, flipped on by Dan Byrne, is that off the bar? The flag is up though on this near side. The Albion players are wondering what for as Dan Byrne just strides back to a more familiar position. Looks as though there's a flick on it after Dan Byrne heads it towards goal. No doubt Dan Byrne wins it. Ooh, maybe half-hearted feels of a hand ball there on Pontus Janssen as it does strike the bar. And as I say, the flag was up on this near side. Trying to find Mope at the back stick. But Moda for company. Back to Mope. And now Mwepu. Well, he had the time to unleash the effort. No one near the target in the end. Just slices that one wide of Fernandez's goal. Ball just hung up towards the back post. And Mope leaves it for Moda. And then Mwepu on the angle. Flashes at it. We want to have that one again, Enoch from Mwepu for his second of the season. Sorensen with the free kick. Easy enough for Webster. To nod back to Mwepu. Now then, Mwepu down the middle. Can Trossard get there? He's looped it over. Excellent finish from Leandro Trossard. He's done it again against Brentford. He knew he could get there first. He knew Fernandez was off his line. How about that for a dink finish for Leandro Trossard? Relatively calm amongst the Brentford ranks. And look at that for the timing of the run. Perfect weight from Mwepu. Delicate finish. Perfectly timed run. Didn't need to control it. Just loops it over Alvaro Fernandez. And with 34 minutes played, the Albion have the lead. Going taken rather quickly. This will fall to Neil Mopay. All come from the Brentford throw in this one. Mopay square to Lalana. And Wepu's made another good run on the near side. Instead, it's Moda who'll take over. Jakob Moda. 
This will fall to Neil Mope, who thundered it in to the top right corner. Oh yes, Neil Mope with a worldly of a strike into the top right corner. Alvaro Fernandez with absolutely no chance. Muted celebrations against his former side. On his return to the starting lineup, finds his seventh of the season and in some style. It will be a VAR check. Looks to be on side there, though, Moda. Look at that position. Puts everything behind that. Almost rips the net off the back of the Amex goal. First touch is good. Second touch is inch perfect from Neil Mope. Striding forward is Tony. Now Visa looking in the centre. The back ticks with the strike, deflection, excellent stop to parry it behind with his knee, I think, from Robert Sanchez. Well, a mix-up in communication meant that Visa could pick out Baptiste centrally. Bright players just retreated slightly, slight deflection. And that is a magnificent save from Robert Sanchez, going the other way, gets his knee to it, over and wide it goes for the corner. Canyos with the away swing. Well back, I think, at the front post. And its wave of attack comes through. Canyos onto his left foot. Towards the back post, there's a header on it. Oh, another scramble away by Robert Sanchez. A couple of superb saves in the space of a couple of minutes. And he may have hurt himself there. It was Ethan Pinnock who got his head to it. That was heading to the bottom right corner. Sanchez with cat-like attributes to claw it behind. This gets better with every viewing after the bounce. Just throws everything, including his shoulder, into it. Sanchez it is who sends Kukurea and Mope on their way. And this will be easily picked up by Jakob Moda. Kukurea is still further ahead of him down this flank. Into Mope. Now McAllister. McAllister on his right foot, McAllister just wide! Well, he always fancied it, the way he was able to get the ball out of his feet. A little bit of time on the ball, only had eyes for that bottom left corner. Is the Albion happy just to shape up, stay resolute and disciplined as Webster's able to make sure and put that behind for the throw? launched into Albion territory. There is a flick on there and flying in is Robert Sanchez. Kukure does enough and now it is over the bar. My word, that really is a new definition of last ditch defending from Mark Kukurea. In goes Sanchez for the first effort. He's committed, Burns there, Kukurea's there and loops it over. Strains every neck muscle he's got underneath that flappy hair. And it goes then to Welbeck. Now Moda. He's worked to find Alzate. And now Welbeck again. Still going Welbeck on the angle. Leaves it for Mopay. And Alzate saved to his right from Fernandez. Danger not clear just yet. This is Lamptey. Trying to get the better of Godos. And then goes to ground. Nothing doing for Darren England. Goal kick. Ryan Potter's side still asking the questions at 2-0 up. Look at this fancy footwork from Danny Welbeck. And Darren England blows up the first win for the Albion since the 19th of September, courtesy of first half exceptional finishes from Leandro Trossard and Neil Mope. The second half was all about walls of defence, but the Albion back into the Premier League top 10 on Boxing Day, and it's one more to go in 2021. It finished here, Brighton have Albion 2, Brentford nil.